job search versus job research so what's the difference between job search and job research so that's a very important difference that you guys need to 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 to, to be aware so some characteristics of job search job search usually is the old school job search is the way that in the past or is the old school way for you to try to find a job it is usually based on the past and looking for similar jobs so what does it mean it means that uh all right you're trying to look you're trying to get a new job or your first professional job here in australia and then you look at the past and you think well what did i do well in the past i used to do this i used to do that and then you start looking for similar jobs so that is job search nothing wrong with that but it's not really the most effective way for you to search for a job today and i'm going to talk to you about well, obviously what's the new way to do it uh, job search is also when you send as i mentioned before when you send loads of resumes like a machine gun so you get your resumes and bah, 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 bah. you send 100 200 300 resumes i even spoke with uh, people that they paid already companies and companies sent like 500 resumes to their kind of a mailing list uh, it's not a good idea because you know as i mentioned before recruiters they have lots and lots of applications that they will read they just don't have yours they have yours and another 50 at least so if you are sending, and because you're going to send uh, to 500 companies your documents will be very generic because if you have a very specific document it doesn't really fit to all of the 500 companies so you need to write a very generic cover letter and you're gonna write a very generic uh, resume so recruiters and companies when they read your document they know already that is a generic document and that you sent you didn't even look at the at the position description and you just sent the in the the resume or cover letter and this is going straight to the bin i can guarantee it to you job search another characteristic of job search is also uh resumes and cover letters are pretty much the same as i said a generic document and you usually don't spend time to prepare your documents you probably spend some time to write your cv and your cover letter in a generic way and you use the same in every single application you can change probably the name of the person uh, but other than that you're probably using the same so job research you explore your personal brand and you gotta think that you're selling yourself as a professional so you're not just uh, sending your resume and cover letter just for sending you're selling yourself as a professional your resume and your cover letter will transpire what it would be like to work with you and the value you can bring to the company so when you write your documents your reference letter and your resume you will write in a way that whoever is reading usually uh, if you get a job your future supervisor your future supervisor will read and understand what would and will feel what would be look like to work with you if you were the successful candidate the documents for the job research the documents are strategically tailored to the position that you are applying for they are customized and also one curriculum vitae is different to the other cv as positions are usually different and you invest time to prepare your documents by researching about the company the projects they are delivering the profile of people in the interview panel as i said before you need to invest time when you are applying for a job 
if you're not really investing time to apply for a job, why the panel should spend time in analyzing your application? Simple as that.